on this trip. I've got to trust this horse's confidence. And so far, he's given me no reason not to trust him. And the rest of the story is, I'm not competent to tell him what to do other than to safely move up the trail. But And so here we go up this trail, and it just required me to overcome my fear and just have courage to be one with the horse, let the horse do his thing. Because anything I might do might adversely affect the horse's ability to do what it knew how to do. And so now we get up there, we hunt, now we're coming back. Didn't harvest anything, but we're coming back and we get to the horses. And by the time we get to the horses, it is black, dark. It's a really cloudy sky. There are, There is no starlight. There's no moonlight. There's no nothing. It's like being in a cave. You could hold your hand in front of your face and you couldn't see your hand. And the guide and the outfitter says, just get on your horse. And I, he says, I'm going to go first down here. But your horse knows just where to go. He's, this is what they do for a living. They know how to move around these mountains, whether it's daylight or dark or snowing or raining or whatever. They're really good at it. All you got to do, stay in the saddle and don't be pulling on those reins. Don't be trying to give it directions. Just let it do its thing.